Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will share my attempt to beat Witch Webster's animation, which has gained 29 million views on Instagram. I created my storyboard and show you my unique approach to creating this kind of animation. Watch the video to see my process and learn some tips and tricks along the way. Ok, I have already prepared for you project files. Make sure to check the video description for the download link. We will start with this our square animation, scaling and rotating for our squares. Let me create final composition, where I will actually work, and you will have this composition with ready animation in your project files as well. So we do not animate scale for our small square. Let's highlight rest ones, press S button, and bring down our scale future. Create keyframe at 0 second and one more at 1 second and 30 frames. And at zero second, everything down zero. So we got animation like that, but let's work with our easy easy keyframe okay, assistance, easy easy, press graph editor button and set up something like that. Looks good. Now let's animate rotation, highlight all squares, press air button and bring down our rotation future. Create keyframe at 1 second and 30 frames and one more at 2 second and 30 frames. And new value here 45 degrees. Looks good. Highlight all keyframes. Easy easy again. Set up speed graph. Ok, looks good, a little bit faster everything and we need shift rotation for each square, like 2 frames per square will have some delay for our rotation. Ok, looks cool and now we need to animate our square that will be going off screen. So let's highlight everything. only leave square one and here at the three seconds and 30 frames we can set up scale that going off for one hour square and then just copy past this keyframe for rest hour square and again set up easy easy and we got it Let's see. Looks pretty cool. Next step, we need to do morphing animation from our small square to our heart icon. So at this moment, when our big square is going off, our small square will be going a little bit top and have some rotation. So let's press P button and create keyframe for position. Press U button and all keyframes for this layer will be bring down and create here as well keyframe for rotation. So something like that. We will animate our small square and let's put value for rotation 225. So we have this animation let's work with our keyframe easy easy okay let's see what we have a little bit adjust timing so it should be animated sooner looks good and then when our square in this position that should be morphing to our heart icon. We will do this morphing via path future, but let's set up some position for her first. Something so it should be in this position like that. Okay, now let's create rulers for our square that would help to create morphic animation from square to her. So simply just click on type action icon 
and choose rulers and simply drag lines like that to create rulers to for our rectangle so like that we have rulers nice now let's turn on our heart icon let's do that blue for now and opacity for 50 that will help to set up our points now let's bring shift our position point for now to right side and under contents group we will use path future create keyframe here and one more here it's actually our final keyframe for heart and now just click on pen tool choose heart icon and let's create our rectangle rulers will help to us really really quick setup i don't know why but it should be snapping but sometimes when i'm use convert shape from adobe illustrator file to shape in adobe after effects that's what exactly i did for heart icon snapping future don't work so in this case i'm just set up in as much as possible but that's not a problem i will show you trick how we can hide it so actually let's do our heart again white come back our opacity to 100 and now we will just parent our heart icon to our square in, in final position for square and just in some point here so you can see that now heart moving with square and let's say something here we just cut off our square one and it would be already hurt so okay nice and now we need to set up easy easy for morphine set up graph editor like that and back our position animation and set up easy easy for position as well something like that okay but i think we need to work with timing it should be much faster for morphing and for position animation as well a little bit sooner too fast okay i think now that looks good and now we need to create heartbeat animation so for that we will use scale press test scale future bring down create point something like that a little bit more here scale and bring down for this moment so we will have something like that okay let's work with easy easy again looks good and now we need to create one more point and just copy past this two and work with timing and copy past one more bit here let's see what we have our morphing in heart bit animation looks good now we need to create morphing from heart icon into rewind arrows and we'll do this rewind scene animation okay so let's create pretty quick this morphing from heart to arrows uh, actually i think we need to have here one more bit because it really was short for bits let's set up these layers to be visible here in this moment okay and actually let's do position animation for this arrows first so it would be going from middle of screens from this point 
and same position for this arrow okay we now need this rulers we will create new one okay so let's set up easy easy for position already we got it and just shift it a little bit later for now we need to create guidelines for our arrow so let's do that again just bring drag and drop like that to these three points okay our rulers is ready now let's make visible our heart again and we are path future create keyframe here and something here we will have we should morph to power arrow so again we are pen tool we ah oh, okay sorry i forgot we need to do here also rotation so click error bring down rotation future and let's put value here two two five yeah and now we can set up our points here in this case it should be pretty simple convert vertex to and we will just convert this our points and now again pen tool and we got it let's see what we have okay looks good but for sure we need to set up our easy easy for rotation okay now that looks good and here when we have endpoint for morphing and for rotation would be instant rewind arrows would appear so actually we can just get layers here and a little bit shift to left side okay a little bit set up in for timing okay looks good and now when we have our arrows rewind we set up animation with via opacity like 100 0 and again 100 copy past and just shift these points to simulate rewind animation okay looks cool we need to create our shapes or rewind animation simulate so just few different position and scale let's create keyframe here for position and for scale as well so in this position each layer should be changing position something like point here changing scale for y-axis for example like that and we need to do this manipulation with each shape to make it looks nice when we're going yeah. okay we got this set up and just now we should copy paste okay we have it but to make it look a little bit interesting let's create here over these lines white layer and put some opacity animation as well let's see what we have 
Okay, now that looks cool. And now last point that we need really very simple, just stop button animation. Let's create transition from this part with lines to our stop button. Let's do almost 100% here in this moment for white solid. And let's cut all our shape lines and arrows. Okay, so we got this transition and really quick stop button animation. Just duplicate this layer one more time. And this big button will be like press on. And value should be exactly same like here, 127. So we will have then loop animation. So 127 and when stop button we will press on, we will have some effect. So that would be going from zero and will be opacity animation as well from one to zero. Let's play with keyframe, easy, easy. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, and a little bit set up for easy, easy here for this effect. After when we click on, on stop button. Ooh, so fast, I don't like it. Yeah, it's a little bit more set up our graph and timing for keyframe. Okay, this looks cool. So you can see it's totally loop and looks pretty cool. Let me know if you like my tutorials. I would be happy to see any comments, any likes. <laughs> So it will be motivate me to do more tutorials for you. Okay, I just will save this project right now for you. We start and final composition with animations that I have done for you. So you can just download project files in link in description for this video and complete this tutorial with me. Have a great day. Bye bye. See you soon in the next tutorials, guys.